Uh, doing a video today on a um, 3500Zs and just dealing with the uh, filaments today. Um, not going to delve into anything else, you know, one thing at a time. So, um, working on an amp. This is a uh, Black Hat JB2000, the bottom of it, and one of the filaments for the tubes wasn't lighting. So, I'm just going to go over uh, filaments today again. Um, one thing to check for on the um, socket pins themselves is first thing I do is clean them and I use a Dremel with the um, wire brush a soft tipped wire brush at the end and I go into the um, sockets with the Dremel and clean them out with the wire brush um, so one of the problems is the um, sockets get dirty and they don't get a good contact and a 3500Z tube runs on 5 volts but at 14 amps per tube so two of them together are running at 30 amps and what happens is those um, between the heat of the tube you know just running and 14 amps going through these pins you know to the pin of the tube and plus the internal pin of the tube is um, connected through to this outer pin and it's soldered and 14 amps is a lot of amps to be going through there and plus with all the heat um, the solder likes to um, desolder itself and not get a good connection and causes resistance and more heat uh, sockets get overheated and start warping and uh, this creates a mess a uh, common problem with three three five hundred Z tubes is um, is the filament connection you know goes out um, some of the better amps they use um, some form of cooling for the pins you know it's known that you got to cool the uh, top or the plate but the pin started overheating so some of the better amps um, use cooling and the infamous Drake L4B um, with the forced air cooling the um, forced air actually comes from underneath and goes up through so the pins and everything um, um, are cooled in it and it doesn't have um, as bad of an issue with the uh, filaments as you know like a fan amp especially with the fan just on top because of too much heat but anyway besides cleaning them with the Dremel one other thing I look at is that um, are the connections nice and tight if you see on this one you know I'm pushing on it and it's nice and tight there's no gap you know in between the uh, uh, I don't even know what these call but the two ends that connect to the um, um, pin of the tube when it goes in there but if you see the one next to it if I can get close enough in there there's a gap between where these uh, touch they should be touching without the tube in there together to give it a nice firm in it and if you see this one all that play in there and I'm you know barely putting any pressure on it and then when I move it over it touches so you can maybe see the gap and that play in there on this one and I'm doing the same pressure on this one and you can see no gap and it's barely moving and I'm putting uh, the same pressure on it there you go and you can hear it when it actually goes over there and touches it so I'm gonna reform which is another word for bending those contacts to tighten them up like that on those so to get a better contact so that 14 amps can run through there and get a better connection and one more thing to look for on the sockets is are those um, sockets straight you know straight up and down and you can see the one here it looks pretty straight um, you know touching together not too bad I'll probably even tighten that up but if you look at this one it's crooked on the left side of that you can see me pushing on it and it straightens it up so we're gonna straighten that out and tighten that up too and that's my thoughts on the sockets and then over here at the tubes um, one thing on a 3500Z there's a pattern as to which one is the filaments which ones are the filaments and which ones are not 
and the pattern is these three top ones that are widely gapped they're ground this triangle up here that's widely gapped is ground and that will leave these two um, that are closer together here are the um, filaments for the tube and you can see on this one the discoloration where it's been you know overheating but on this one I cleaned the pins again with the Dremel I don't know how well you can see that and then on this one I did not Dremel it yet and hopefully you can see uh, see the difference the uh, Dremel one looks much cleaner it's uh, smooth where this one is not smooth and um, it's not going to get a good connection you want smooth on there so we're going to uh, Dremel this one clean the pins and one other thing like I said a little earlier is that the uh, solder gets overheated and it doesn't get a good connection so um, you always want to if you have filament problems you want to re-solder the filament pins and what I do is get a solder sucker and suck out the old solder and then um, insert some new solder um, makes a better connection one way of testing the filament is um, for the tube is those two um, close together pins that at the bottom, remember the three uh, top are grounds. I got them connected to my meter here. And when you connect across the filament pins, it should read the same as a dead short, as you know, same as when you connect the leads of your meter together. So I got it connected here with the alligator clips, and you can see the meter um, reading 0.5, and that's what it'll read. Um, when I connect the um, lead of the meters together by themselves, so, you know, dead short. So anyway, that's going to be it for this one. My thoughts on um, 3500Zs and the um, two filaments only. That uh, clean your sockets, clean your pins, um, adjust them sockets so they're good and tight, and that they're straight up and down and resolder the pins on on the tubes and um, hopefully unless you got some other problem you should be good to go and always a good idea to put some um, put some air on the filaments if your amp doesn't do that on its own um, put a fan underneath or you know in there on the side blowing across the filament pins and that'll help it out common problem with 3500 Z's alright that's it for this one bye